Hey everybody, this is Matt with Survivalist 2012. I'm going to show you a couple things that you can use in the case of low profile hunting. If you're out in the woods and you don't want to be heard, these are a couple weapons that you can possibly use um, for low profile hunting. So take this in consideration, um, get out and practice with these items, and I'm just going to give you a quick review of, uh, of all these things I have laid out here. Um, I do have my compound bow, which I do get out to our gun club and I do use. Um, have the practice arrows and then I have the the real arrows with a broadhead tip on them. I do have a crossbow. It's a little handheld crossbow. I cannot find it. I don't know where it's at, but I found the little darts for it. And then of course you guys have already seen my survival knife here. This is uh, the newest one that I have. Um, and then I have my old survival knife over here. This is more of a of a Rambo type. It's a pretty big survival knife. And it has some pretty good weight to it. But you can actually use this in a pinch for as like a machete. It's long enough, and it's got the saw the saw on top. So I no longer carry that one. That one's just kind of my backup. But we do have a CO2 pellet gun here. Basically what you do is you just pop your handle off, you have your CO2 cartridge inside, and then on the inside you have your little thing that you put your uh, pellets in. And that would be my last choice of low profile hunting. It's pretty loud, so if you're wanting to keep low profile, um, you probably definitely wouldn't want to use that, even though it, it would be probably the second most effective here. Um, if you're not wanting to get spotted, so that would be my last choice there. And then we have our slingshot here. You just put your arm through the band, and this is probably the most accurate slingshot that I've ever used. It's got the uh, little sights on it so you can aim, and it's got a lot of give because of this arm brace. So that's the slingshot. Then over here we have or marksman repeater. I've had this since I was a kid. This just uses BBs. Um, definitely can't kill small game with it. Can injure it, but you can kill birds with it if uh, you know you're a good enough shot. And then these I just use to keep my ammo in. They're pretty good containers for that. Got your BBs in this one. Got your ball bearings in this one. Then you got your pellets in this one. And these are pretty nice containers for keeping your small ammo in for your low profile hunting. So the main purpose today was just to show you guys some uh, some materials to use in the case of low profile hunting. You don't want to be seen, you don't want to be heard, you're out in the woods, you definitely don't want to use your gun. So these are a couple things that you guys can take in consideration um, to purchase or get um, in the case of low profile hunting. Um, there's also other things you can use like snares and, and traps and everything like that. I would use those as well, but if I wanted like anything small game like a, a raccoon anything a deer anything that I could keep myself and my family alive with by using one of these tools here I can I can definitely do that so if you guys have any questions feel free to leave me a comment this is Matt with Survivalist 2012 signing off